Hello there again, I'm Larry Silva with Housing Assistance. In the other videos, we talked about how to apply for rental vouchers of public housing. In this video, we'll talk about what happens once you're selected for a voucher or a unit. Here are some of the steps that usually occur. Usually, you'll be notified that you've been selected by mail. This letter contains detailed instructions on what you must do next, as well as a deadline that you must respond by. If you are too late to respond, this can mean that you've missed your chance for this opportunity. So, ensure your mail is being sent somewhere where you will receive it in a timely manner. After the initial notification, and assuming you respond by the deadline, the agency will request additional information from you. This process is called intake. Each program has different required documents that need to be obtained. This includes items such as proof of income, personal documents like birth certificates and social security cards, or perhaps a verification of disability status from a medical professional. These documents must be returned in a timely manner to keep the process moving. If, after all completed documents are received and you are determined eligible for the program you have been selected for, you may have a briefing. Sometimes this information is covered at intake and sometimes these briefings are held separately. The briefing will provide you with information you need to know about the voucher or unit you have been determined eligible for, along with rules for the program and other important information. After you've completed this step, you'll be on your way. Whether you'll be moving into a project-based unit or out to start your housing search for a market rental to use your voucher with, you're about to start a new housing adventure.